taking it easy watch church online with my family and I'm about to work out so I'm just wearing nothing fancy it's just this top it's from TJ Maxx and the sports bra it's actually really cute but it's from TJ Maxx too but it's by Jessica Simpson and then black leggings and my Brooks tennis shoes I was gonna go run but my sister just texted me that her and her husband are gonna come over and do insanity which I really don't feel like doing that, but it is kind of nice to do it when they're here. So I don't know, but I'm gonna work out and then shower and then pick up my room a little bit. It's not that bad, but. Then I think Ross and I are gonna hang out this afternoon and been editing my vlog from two weeks ago, so. It's taken me a while because I haven't edited in a minute. Let's go work out. Transformation, but did put on some makeup. 2020, 2220. No audio. No audio. And I rise up. <laughs> I believe children are our future. Come on. Well, let them lead the way. White House Come on, Dad. On the TV. What do you think he's gonna run to the TV now? <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm gonna see what I got from Ulta. In a big box. I don't think I ordered that much. I got my toner. Enrique? Huh? What does it say, Enrique? Clinique. Uh huh, Clinique. It's a brand. It's toner. I put it on my face to like cleanse it at night. And it breaks up all the bad stuff on your face. My moisturizer. Ole. From Ole. Has SPF in it. You want me to video this? I'm videoing it. Oh. <laughs> has an SPF in it to protect your skin. All this small stuff in this big box. Ooh, -hoo. Ooh. basic hula bronzer, brow pencil, and my eyeliner, and my primer. Pore professional, and because I spent, I bought a bunch of benefit stuff. Makeup oh. I got a free gift. Got this cute little makeup bag. How Isn't that cute? That's so nice. That hangs up. You can hang it. Just hanging. Yeah. Oh.
<laughs> I'm about to go to sleep. Ross left. Um, we had gone to Publix and we picked up Chinese food for my family to eat and brought it back here. I had dinner and then Ross and I watched a TV show that we started. Also, I'm talking funny because I'm wearing my retainer. Which I haven't worn in a second. My friend who does hair, she has been quarantined and everything, but she came over to our house to give all the boys haircuts. So that was nice of her because Ross and I, Ross and his mom, what am I saying? Myself and Ross's mom tried to give Ross a haircut like two weeks ago. And it didn't look bad, but it was definitely not the best. So my friend Madison is awesome and she gave them a haircut and it looks a lot better. <laughs> when in quarantine, you have at home haircuts. I will see you folks tomorrow on Monday. right now and I think I need to go outside oh. Later. Really though, I'm sitting in Ross's car. We're at Target. Well, he's in Target. He has a mask. I did not have a mask, so I'm sitting in the car. I honestly got bored for like the first time since the quarantine, I think. It's kind of a nice feeling, I'm not gonna lie. Having like being bored because I don't get bored often because I usually find things to keep me busy. But there's really not much for me to do right now, which I'm pretty okay with so anyways Ross came to pick me up since I was bored and he's getting a controller for his Xbox so that we can try to play a game when we get back to his house but if that doesn't work out we're gonna keep watching our show because we started watching the haunting of Hill House yesterday and pretty much since we started dating so like a year and a half he's been trying to get me to watch the show but I do not do horror movies or horror shows but I gave in yesterday because it's really not, like from what I've watched so far, it's really not a horror show. It's more of just a thriller and I like thrillers. I like intense movies and things like that. So I think I can do it. Also, I am matching Target or Target is matching me. I bought a Tootsie Pop that I realize also matches me. I love Tootsie Pops. I have one like every day. Look here. We can just set set this up right here. What's up, y'all? I landed on my roof a few days ago, but I only made it like 40 minutes the other day, and I just thought I didn't get any sun. That's okay. I tried, but I do think I think I got a little bit. There's not like any intense tan lines, but I'm tanner than I was. So maybe I should do that again soon. Also, I could not run far today at all because I swear it went from like spring to straight summer heat in like 24 hours. I was dying, but. <laughs> oh, 
lock me out. Gotcha. My favorite, Ashley Max. <laughs> <laughs> Love me. I got my favorite potatoes. What up? Oh, Where am I? I need some salmon. Oh, no, wait, no, I don't. Seafood. We need to do this one again. Yeah, we do. Alright, so that wasn't that good, but hey, we, we kind of know what we need to do. We got it this time. You go in every time and you never know. You no. never know what's to come. It's the first time, so it's not a big deal. workout. Ross and I were going to work out this morning, but he texted me or called me and said he wasn't feeling good. So I'm trying to get a workout in by myself 
and I took a pause. I woke up this morning and had a quiet time, or just time with the Lord for the first time in a while. I've been praying pretty consistently, but I haven't been sitting with the Lord, which if you're a Christian is something that's vital and critical for your state of mind and just for having purpose in life at all and it was really good i guess i'm just sad because the past few weeks i've had i haven't had much to do i mean i've said here i mean i've been busy for a quarantine life i've been trying to finish up school and trying to figure out recruitment stuff i still feel like there's stuff to figure out stuff i should do to be productive um but i've definitely learned that nothing is as important as it seems you know there's 24 hours in the day we have just as much time in these days of quarantine as we've had ever before and i've taken the time to sit and to relax and to refuel myself like watching netflix i know that's get such a bad rap of you know not being productive or being lazy but being lazy is important sometimes you know like i guess lazy wouldn't be the word but if that's how you rest if that's how you refuel if that's how you take a moment by yourself that's important like we have to do that as people and i think as long as that's not an idol as long as that's not not your fuel then it's okay um because for me as a christian my fuel is jesus my fuel is his word and constant conversation with him through prayer um reading his word because the bible says that his word is living and active and breathing and fueling myself with that every day is what is important and now that i've been out of a routine it's just it's been harder than i thought that it would be um because there are limited distractions here in quarantine they, i mean i keep saying quarantine i'm it's not quarantine i guess i'm just really staying at home and being careful and trying not to get out as much um but there are less distractions school's over um so i have been taking probably the past week of just like watching netflix and you know kind of doing nothing maybe picking up a book every once in a while laying outside and just sitting um but sitting with the lord is really what is important i don't know if any of that makes sense but it's just kind of what i'm thinking about um and back to i guess the reason i was sad is because i think everybody christians and non-christians i mean Everybody goes through seasons of life where they try to fuel themselves. Um, and I've been trying to fuel myself with things that I knew deep down wouldn't fill me up. Because um, I wasn't fueling myself with Jesus. And that's what's going to fulfill me. And that's what's going to give me purpose in life and give me joy. And I mean, that is, that's who I am. Is who Jesus says I am. And that is a child of his who is called to go and make disciples and to glorify him and live out his gospel. So I guess I'm just sad because when you have Jesus, I guess time isn't wasted um, because I believe that he will use any situation in any circumstance for his good. And that if you love him and you are called according to your purpose, then he will work things for good. And that may not be good by the world's standards. That may not be good by my own standards, but if I love him and am called according to his purpose, then my standards will be morphed and changed to align with his standards, which means that my standards of good change and morph to match his standards of good. So yes, all of this quote unquote wasted time will be used for his good, but I just could have been so much more productive and so much more fueled if I would have just turned to him, but that is the battle of life, I guess. Um, it's the life of a Christian and I know not everybody can relate but I'm just saying what's on my mind um, no judgment passed if you share different beliefs than me or um, don't agree with me I'm not 
saying I know it all because I definitely do not know everything. I don't know it all. I just know that Jesus is powerful and that he saved me and that to devote time or energy to anything that doesn't glorify him is going to be a waste for me and it's going to be pointless. So praise the Lord for his word and for for having his hand in in my life and in this world. All right, I'm gonna finish my work now. <laughs>
told it's cold outside, so I'm wearing sweats. And we're going to Sam's. And mom doesn't want to be in the vlog. Remember to wash your hands. Wash your hands. We've got our face masks. So I'm going to get some groceries. And I'm going to start meal prepping. Woohoo! Oh, Lord. <laughs> She's taking her sweet time. Mom. It's crowded as a booty hole out here. Yep. And my glasses keep fogging up. From the grocery store stores multiple I guess um cute my dog dug out my yogurt and all the trash I love it when she does that my mom and dad left to run some errands and I took a bath just because I felt icky and germy from like being at Walmart and Sam's and changed into a variation of my original outfit. And then now I'm gonna go pick up my prescription and realize I don't have a gift for my mom for Mother's Day. So I'm gonna run and do that real quick. Ready to go? Oh dear, struggling. I'm back from Allie's as a squeaky door painting help or helping paint her room. I, we didn't finish or I didn't help completely finish it. I'm about to take a shower. I just had a bowl of honey nut Cheerios because I was hungry. Um, speaking of bowls, <laughs> what a transition. I bought this bowl from Tuesday morning today because mom wanted to go before we went to Sam's. She's like me, she just likes to roam and shop. Um, and when I was cleaning our bathroom the other day, I still need to wash our rugs. But we have all these bath bombs that I have not yet used. And it's just not, not cute. So I got this bowl. So I'm gonna put all of the bath bombs in this bowl. And hopefully, hopefully it'll look a little better. So we're gonna make this a little more aesthetically pleasing for y'all. So it's a big bowl. Oh, 
These stickers are gonna be difficult to get off. I'm gonna have to get some of that goo be gone stuff. We have some. Just, I'm gonna have to use it. I'm gonna see how it looks though. That's fancy. So this is really pretty, but it just doesn't fit very many. So this is much cuter. Still not like Gur-esque, I guess, but you know, it's it's my childhood bathroom, so I think it's cute. Chicken goo. <laughs> Such a domestic couple. Mm -hmm. What? You're a domestic couple. What are you? I'm a working man. <laughs> Is it good? It's so good. Got the whole setup. <laughs> Alright, can I lay it on there? Yeah. Let's see where it ends. Oh, oh it's rolling. You can have this. What is that? It's just chocolate. Yeah. Oh, no. I like white chocolate. <laughs> huh? I like white chocolate. It sounds like you just discovered that. I like, I like mine with drizzle. That's what we're trying See, to See, look, I can do that. Look That's that. a glob. That was a glob. I'm painting it. Like Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. It's amazing. I'm now in bed, about to go to sleep on this Saturday night. 
today was a fun day and I felt, I guess, pretty productive. Like, I felt like I did something with my day. I kind of took this morning easy and got some random things done here at home. And um, after I had lunch, Ross came and picked me up and we went for a walk. And then we ran a couple errands, got some Mother's Day goodies for our moms. And came back home to my house and we worked on meal prepping and dipped our strawberries that we picked the other day. We dipped mine in chocolate and got those ready for my fam to snack on. After that, we went to his house for dinner with his parents and um, we just hung out. So it was a good day and honestly really tired just from cooking because it took kind of a long time but I'm glad we did it and we're gonna give it a shot this week so that was today and tomorrow I'm going to Pensacola to visit my sister and her husband and their new baby um, so I'm super excited for that and tomorrow is also Mother's Day so that'll be sweet and I'll also have to pack to leave tomorrow afternoon but was a good Saturday.